39, so it's a guaranteed hit. What hash? Well, uh, no, middle. Guaranteed uh, hit. Don't yell at him. And he's a fucking awesome kicker, too. And now you can do the whole thing. I mean, Michigan's dead to me, but it's like you guys killed us, we killed Illinois, and Illinois killed you. It's like who else? No, but this is different because Michigan Michigan pretends to be something. This is like Wisconsin has reached its purest form today. Yeah, but we were talking this about whether my, this we is, were this talking. This is my Nirvana as a Wisconsin. Fan. We were talking about whether it would potentially be a good national championship bet. You know, buying into that. <laughs> well, the, uh, Illinois put Dan to bed. They, he, they tucked him in Can under the. Him yeah, they tucked him underneath the covers, uh, sung him a lullaby. Right. I, I feel like I'm awake now. Yeah. Yeah. That is. I mean, that's a stunning loss. That's a life game. That's a life game where if you told me beforehand I had to put my life on it to make a hundred thousand, I'd be like, I'll bet my life. You You'd go. bet your life on that game. Yeah. That's why you can never, when people ask you life bets, you can't do it. That's why he's dead now. That's a life game. That's why he's dead. That's a life loss. Yeah. Like, I, if yeah. someone's like, I'll give you 100 grand money line versus your life, I'd be like, I'll take that bet in a heartbeat. <laughs> Fucking lost today. They suck. What the fuck? Get them out of here. Oh, shut up. We were talking about I'm national shut champion. Up. I'm never gonna win anything. You're so depressed, Dan. We got a live audience. Fuck Michigan. Fuck Michigan. Fuck Michigan. Fuck Michigan. Fuck Michigan. I know we're bad. Oh, Damon! Fuck Michigan! Keep it up, keep it under. Took a serious What the fuck happened? So this happens actually. Are you bleeding? Can I spider later? That poorly guy. Yep, him. Scott's dead. No, no full time. No full time. <laughs> We're gonna go Brandon next. Congrats to Minnesota. You guys, you made it to the team. So, I don't know what to do. Here, here it is. Fucking bleeding. Just started bleeding. Just started bleeding in the middle of the show. Stand by 10 and stand by weekend preview. Roan coming on at the start of the segment. Take two. Roan's on one. Oh, thank you. Oh. 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 Like yeah, yeah. Stand by on the on the oh, truck, yeah, yeah. though. Yeah. You know, I think I was I was sucking the blood off like the whole show. Fuck you.
you, Frankie. You fucking loser. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. Oh. Got one. Got one. Got one. Oh, no! Oh, another ball, you fat fuck! Get out! Down. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious! Drop! Oh. Double them off! Oh my god, what a double play! It's 4-4. Four, four. Garner is going back. Looking out. See you later. See you later. See you later. The New State Astros are going to the World Series. The Cavs is going out swinging. It could have been a worse guy to blow it in the ninth. An abuser, a man who shot a gun at a woman, blows it in the bottom of the ninth in Houston. The Astros are going back. World Series. Three days. Then you went straight home play. And, and, and uh, like, Hubs, true or false, you came up when you said uh, the, the game you guys went to, he's like, there's no one here except me and Tommy. They're traveling. Jared's sick. Yeah. yeah, and then Jared just was there. And I believe no, I didn't. come in for a radio either. No, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm saying. It's like, uh, there was no reason to be like, well, is he sick? Because he hadn't been here already. Also, Strip is like, Pretty fucking big deal, and like here, like if you're sick by a little bit, yeah. don't bother. Yeah. Be I like, was going to go to the stream on Friday. It was canceled but, before. But it was canceled by Hubs coming up, being like you were sick. Did they ask me if I was going to come? No, they didn't. They canceled it without ever saying anything to me. No one asked me if I was coming to the stream on Friday. I was going to come to the stream. I think it's a fair thing to be like. I think it's a fair thing to ask. I think it's a fair thing. I like, think it's hey, a fair thing in. to assume if you've been deathly ill, like Dave. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're not here Friday, that you're sick and not coming. Right. I got a strep the, test it's more on, it's more on you to be like, Friday. It's the more, second that I knew I didn't have strep, I was like, all right, I'm going to come in for the stream. No one asked me if I was going it, to the But it stream. would be more likely for you, I think, to be like, hey, I'm healthy, I'm available. Or it would be more likely for them to be like, hey. Are you coming in tonight? No? All right, let's but go. But who would game. assume you're coming if you miss work on Friday? Being Ask, sick. It takes two seconds to text me. But it's the reverse is true, but we more on you. The assumption is natural that you were sick. Sure, but you can still ask. So you think it's more on them assuming you're sick than you being like, you, I'm cleared you after being out for three. You can't cancel a stream and be like, Jared's sick without asking if Jared's sick. But you, you were out of work sick. I recorded a podcast Friday. I didn't do radio, but I still did Section 10 Friday. I think most people with a functioning brain, if you're out Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you're still sick. Good ask. You're like, hey, you coming in tonight? Yes. I mean, the, 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 the grimace on... I, well, give I'm your honest reacted. opinion. I react. Give your honest opinion. Would you? My honest opinion? Yeah. I don't want to get in it, but my honest opinion is if you if you had the test coming back, you should have told them the test coming back today, if I don't have strep, I can Nobody asked. They don't have to ask you. If you know that you... If you know that you got the test coming back, you should tell you, them the you, test coming back. It was your out. third consecutive day of being out sick. Correct. How would anyone be like, well, he's healthy? All you have to do, hey, are you coming in tonight? Well, this is crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. It is crazy. This will be the only compliment I give. You're not somebody who will like, not, when you say you're sick, you're clearly sick. Correct. You're, you're not showing up to work, you're sick. I get it. Yes. That's why it's so stunning to see you in the front row. Like, I'm like, whoa, what just happened? I canceled the stream because he was sick. This is literally, it's like, I don't, I, there's no point in arguing with you. Because you're wrong. Him. You're wrong. There's not one human who thinks I'm wrong. Literally not one. I'm me. I am one. I know, but you, you've never been wrong. Correct. It's tough having a son. <laughs> He's wrong. It literally takes two seconds to text me and ask me if I'm coming in. So like, the entire timeline of events, just so that everyone knows, Wednesday, fever, contagious, got documentation. Thursday, fever, strep test. Didn't get the results of the strep test till 3.45 p.m. My radio show ends at three. Why would I come into the office at that point? 
So I plan on going to the stream knowing that I didn't have strep. Nobody texted me to say that there was no stream or asked me if I was gonna come. So I was like, great. I see on Twitter that Hubs and Tommy are going to the game. So I text Hubs, you going to the game? No stream tonight? No, me and Tommy are going to the game. All right, cool. So I go to the game. And then I get a text from Dave, you fucking suck. <laughs> and I was like, for what? So they're like, oh, we canceled the stream because you're sick. Again, no one asked me if I was sick. And when I was out, I still recorded Starry Nine. I still recorded Section 10. I still blogged every game. <coughs> still sick. Excuse me. <clears throat> still blogged every game. The only thing that I didn't do was radio, and they've got that covered. So even when I'm on my deathbed, I'm still producing for this company. And then I came in on Saturday and stole the show. Was it Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. So again, at the end of the day, Dave's not right here. Uh, they should have asked if I could come in, because I would have came in that night. I, I like one. You keep saying that as you walk like, away. Well, I'm just like, I don't know what- Outside! No! Out of strike. What's up, pussy? He said bitch as you walked away again. He keeps going, I'm gonna have to tell you how to shit talk. What's up, you bitch? Okay. You bitch. I can, I can actually smell the strep throat off you, bro. You're here today. Did daddy tell you to come in today? Is that why you came running in? He keeps coming back. I keep teaching him how to have an argument. So. Frankie. If you ever left this company, your resume would say Dave's bitch. That would be the number one thing on your resume would say Dave's bitch. That's your you, daddy. You, you He's had, my dad. He's your daddy. You call him your dad. He's you gave him a Christmas daddy. gift with you saying that you, he is your dad. Yeah, you, you are got me son. a Christmas gift too, Frankie. Okay. That's the one thing in the world that you wish that you got from Dave Portnoy is acceptance, validation. You've never gotten it from him. That's the one thing that you seek that's and a, you'll never get it. Incorrect. Is it? Thousand percent incorrect. You've never got validation from Dave Portnoy. But so are you. No, I'm not. Okay. You only, isn't it funny that there's uh, no isn't Yankee it funny stream that you didn't unless I'm here? There's a fucking Yankees Astros game and it gets canceled unless I'm here, Frankie. Well, no, they went to the because game because you're not interesting well, no, enough to, the game. to have a stream. Well, no, they actually Frankie? went to the game. Yeah, yeah, because they got canceled because I wasn't going to be here. Well, yeah. no, they weren't here because they were not interesting doing enough, stuff. Frankie. Everyone, no, the problem is that everyone here does multi stuff at the yeah. company. You only talk about baseball. So, yeah. like, when you aren't here to do baseball, you just go home. Yeah. So, like, Penn, he was at Penn State doing college football. Big he Ed. was at Big Ed was in Penn State doing college football. Yeah. We were all doing stuff. Right. You, when baseball's not being played, you just sit home. No, that's and not true. And you have, true. like, the strep dough. Oh, mommy and daddy. Right. No, my no, no. Throat hurts. The I have to go to Saugus and watch my Chinese bowl. And I got to eat my Chinese bowl. Because I here, Frankie. You're not Because I'm a rocking Because I'm five foot five feet Frankie. tall and I have to go yeah. watch baseball. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm a national writer. Because I'm a national writer and all I get to do go. is talk about baseball. I mean, he really gets on my nerves because he's a character. The regular Jared Carabas I like. I actually genuinely like him. I find him like, like I, I think of him as like a friend. The character Jared Carabas, which I understand gets like warped in, especially during the World Series and, and ALCS and all this stuff. Like, I, I get it. He is a fucking flaming douchebag. And when you're on the other side of that, it's brutal to like have to deal with that. Cause like you go back at him and he has this like rabid fan base that will just like spin. Like he gets like one tweet off and it's like, he, he could say anything, Frankie cried. Like, but like we had a back and forth that you saw I didn't. Like I actually like, it's, it's, it's infuriating. It really is. Well, I mean, Jared's just a douchebag. There's really no talking. I mean, everyone knows he. The guy wears a, a wedding ring on his fucking finger because he's married to the game. <laughs> it started with you saying that I needed you to have a no. stream that nope. was worth no. watching. Incorrect. I was literally as you were walking by. Nope. I was sitting at my desk. Frankie walks up to me, and he's like, "Look who decided to show up." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" And he's like, "I've worked here for three years. I've never taken a sick day." Blah blah blah. And I was like. Good for you, Frankie. I was fucking sick. Like, I, my job is to talk, and I couldn't speak. And he was being a fucking asshole, and then he walked away. I literally was sitting at my desk by myself, and you came up talking shit about how, how many sick days you haven't taken. That's where this but started But the whole from. day, we were talking about how you were going to show up for the stream, and you hadn't showed up in the last three days. I said, of course he's going to show up. Things happened before you showed up. Zero streams. Uh... Zero so Thursday. You night. literally missed the stream, and that's why they went. Oh, to the there game. was yeah, there was there was yeah one stream. So one stream I missed. And 
they went to the game because you weren't coming in. They canceled it without asking me if I was going to come. Like I would have came on Friday. That's the dumbest argument ever. But that's no, it's not. not. My, I mean, it it's is. Really that, not. Is, that is your argument. You, are, I am a I mean, thousand like, percent I have, on their like, sides. I, but you're wrong. Like I have the text messages to prove it. Like their argument was they wanted to go to the game. They used me as a chip to do that. They went into your office and was like, "Jared's sick. Can they we go to the game?" Hub, that they being hubs. Hubs. Yeah. Whatever. So like they go hubs. to you. And they're like, Jared's sick, so we can't do the stream. Nobody contacted me and asked me if I was coming in. I was planning on coming in on Friday night. So that was just using me to go to the game. That's what that was. Is that six weeks? Whatever. Six <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> Surgery for I hate her. I'm going to kill this first poor child. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you think you're ready to move on? Yeah. I, yeah. As long as he stops, like, going on all these, like, forms of social media and, like, his... It, Everyone's like, why haven't you responded? You can't respond to the rocket when he's on Twitter. Like, he's got these people. Oh my God, it's Angel, Mommy, and John. No, oh my God. Wait, it is? Yeah. Holy Dude, crap. Come on, come on, let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my gosh. You probably already know how much fantastically good ass shit there is on TikTok. One thing in particular that's really evolved in a special way on TikTok is sketch comedy. I've picked out a few from this uh, account, Angel M Mammy, Angel Mommy. She's a model, actress, and musician, and she's a mother, and they do like family skits. You know, it's like TikTok sketches for the whole family by the whole family. This one has 400,000 views and 40,000 likes. So uh, keep that top of mind. Yeah, so we had uh, John Dees and Angel Mommy into the office, uh, TikTok superstars. Uh, I think they're a little bit polarizing on the internet right now because people don't know if they should laugh, if they should cry, if they should be melancholy towards uh, their content and their TikToks because some people say they don't exactly make sense. I think that's the beauty of their TikToks. So now we're going to look around. And then you're gonna say, okay. I'm gonna switch it. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna switch it. Okay, okay so ready, stop. So we'll stop right here. You got us? Okay. Babe. What? I need a sweatshirt. You need a sweatshirt? I need it right now. Well, take five steps back. One, two, three, four, five. That's Oops. not working. Well, yeah, let's get a little closer. So the signature angel mommy move is take five steps back and then you got iPhone. So that's their thing from their original viral TikTok, which was about uh, phone chargers. The five steps back is a move that she thinks is gonna take off. She thinks it's gonna be the next Harlem Shake, or planking, or coning, or Molly, or whatever other trend there was in the past. She thinks the five steps back is what kids, teens, even adults like me, are gonna do um, as a hobby. Babe, I need a sweatshirt. You need a sweatshirt? I need it now. Oh, take five steps back. Are you serious right now? Take five steps back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you need five steps back. Alright, you ready? You want me to take five steps back? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Wow. So amazing. <laughs> A lot of people say don't meet your heroes. I say they're wrong because they were everything I expected and more. Oh my god! It's Angel Mommy and John! No, oh my god. Wait, it is? Holy crap! Come on, come on, let's go! Oh my god! This is crazy! Oh my gosh. I don't know what they got my. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't you guys take five steps back? We had to do five steps back. It's like their ultimate, like, sort of, like, calling card, so that's her thing. Look like stun and then, yeah. like, oh. Yeah, look okay. stun so and then we like, excited and then stun? Yeah. Okay. okay. Like, then happy and then... We're excited and then... And then, yeah, exactly. Wait, don't hold your hands up yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to say, now you can walk out the doors. <laughs> there it is. There's the doors. You can walk out the door and I'm going to do like that. <laughs> Wait, can I say, can I say something? Yeah. I'd be like, I don't know who you think you are. And then you'd be like, and you can walk out the door. Okay. But you can walk out the door. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? Three, three, two. 
I don't know who you think you are. But you can walk out those doors. Bye. <laughs> oh, damn. That was amazing. That was dirty. Oh, it was an insane night. Unforgettable. And the Ravens fans to come at me and, oh, that's Pugsley. That is Pugsley. Look that at that. Pugsley. How do we have a pick? Look Pugsley. at that. That's Pugsley. I love Pugsley. That's Pugsley. Oh. No! Uh, no! That's, that's, that's Pugsley. Dude. I'm done grieving. That's it. I'm done grieving. <laughs> that was fucked up. <laughs> well, Even I knew who well, yeah, I was doing. But it's like, like don't do this but it's like we're talking about people. Yeah, eight years. Died, it's like. raw. Eight years. When someone dies, you love. It's always raw. Eight then years. when someone brings it you up, you have again, a new job. It happened yesterday. All well, right. Aria, was he like this? No. <laughs> Ravens, Seahawks. You have a new job. That, by the way, the, the the drama of that rip, that was a little too much. I am gonna take. The under, brutal. as much as this is crazy, you're taking the over. You ripped up his dead dog. I did. I'm, yeah. I'm going to take a rip up the, dead the dog. Under the under. Yeah, the under That's lock. That's not karma. Respect. Everything. <laughs> it was a debacle of a weekend. Ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Barstool Sports Advisors. I lost my shirt. You definitely look like an extra in a mafia movie right now. You should be eating a sub sandwich. I wanted to get. Um, you to accept my apology for ripping up Pugsley because I haven't wanted that since. Um, well, you, you know what it is. You know, you're supposed to leave dead dogs lie. Not only did you not leave my dead dog lie, you took him from the corpse. No. Out of his, out of his, you took him from his corpse and he loves you. He doesn't know you and never met you, but he loves you. I love you him. him I love him. him in half. Yeah, no, no, no. So I'm apologizing. I, that was the wrong move. I was doing it for the theatrics, Stu. I, you know that. Like, I didn't mean it. You, listen, you, you can't get absolution from me. You're probably going to have to die, go to your grave, go to heaven, go to Buckley. No, I need you to say it's okay and say, hey, Dan, I forgive you, and you're going to win bets now. Listen, desperate times deserve desperate measures. What I think you should do is kill Stella. No, what? What the fuck, dude? Dan, you want a solution. I'm a solution man. No. I have a problem. You come to me. I'm giving you a solution. Kill Stella. Tell Stella to tell Puxley. No. You no. <laughs> just say, just accept my apology. My, my heartfelt apology, Stu. Please. All right. You know how I feel about you. you I, I love you. Unconditionally, I unconditionally forgive you for anything you've ever done in the past, in the present, and in the future. But I think not gonna work until you <sighs> I love you. Can you, I love you more. can you also tell me, talk to me real quick about the game tonight? Um, I love this game. It'll be my fourth straight 50 dime ball in max best bet, so I can't, I can't give it away for free because I'm probably gonna write between 30 and 50 thousand on it. But I would say right now, as God is my witness on this earth, I'm gonna win this fucking game. And it's a human lock, and it's a burial, and it's a blowout, and it's gonna shock the world. Oh yeah, no, I'm like uh, sneaky, like best friends with the chain smokers. What's the pulse? How do you guys like find all the places? It, like... it gets increasingly difficult. Like yeah. somebody actually just sent this one in, but we weren't aware it existed. Because um, downtown we've done like almost all, of them. all of the good ones. Yeah. Brooklyn, there's probably some, but I mean we just look. Yeah. We've done so many though. Frankie, how you doing? It's on the, the legend. legend. Yeah, it's it's how are you? Good. Good. How are you guys? Good. What's your dog? What's up, Frankie? Hey, Mushu. Mushu. Nice to meet you. Mushu. Nice to meet you guys. Doing this, guys? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. You don't know what a duckling is? I know what a duckling is. I don't know what a Mushu. Yeah. Mushu duckling. Is. Yeah. Mushu yeah. duckling is. yeah, I'm saying it correctly. Yeah. Yeah. How long do you guys park duckling? No, I don't. What the fuck, Dave? I know it. Yeah, yeah. Right now we're so busy. Right, right, right. Right. Like finding a place like this that we haven't done is literally like striking gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they always like we to to the 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 Well, we haven't uh, really turned the corner yet. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> 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 
invited the blonde girl. I figured she was going to hear my... I was thinking it would take like maybe One, eight seconds before you brought it up. <laughs> I think you went over by like 11. I knew that was coming. Um, <laughs> well, we gotta, you, you got to go in with me. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, so you bring the dog Yeah, in. yeah. Dave's got a black card, everybody. <laughs> Mr. Centurion over here. Well, you're chirping the flat pad. <laughs> I don't know more than that. All right, peace review time. We are at 11 B. Where does it sit in? Hey, what one? one? Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 You got a good review. Yeah. What do you give you a box with a name on it? We're out of the large ones. Not, every other one's got a name. We said it tonight. We left. Don't worry. Do Thank you. Last one. What's it called? What is it? It's uh, Barcelona Sports. It's like you can get it on everything. Internet. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like that's what we got for the back, right? By the way, most of them come out. I was really interested how you were gonna score it because, like, I don't, I never had any of any of the pizzas that you score, and I didn't know like how hard sure. heavy actually, so it the, actually was. The scale of sevens an average review. Okay. That's like decent yeah. pizza. Yeah. Six, you actually want to come today, by the way? Yeah, maybe I will. Yeah, I'll let. Well, who's the best? I have your taste first. That's all right. Yeah. All right. Talked about Here. this. No tens. No test. No test. Like bigger scale. Well, what do you do if you have one better? Right. You're done. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> like bigger scale. Well, duly noted. Yeah. yeah.